Hello, this is Pastor Roland. I'm glad you were able to stop by today. I'm just checking in to see how you're doing and to remind you that I'm always uh, glad to receive prayer requests. It's something I really enjoy, prayer requests. Basically what you do is go to my website and uh, click on the uh, prayer request tab and then you can send me an email with your prayer request and then I will pray for you. Okay. Uh, also want to uh, talk a little bit about health today because it's a very popular uh, subject because a lot of people have health issues. A lot of people have health issues so we need to talk about uh, about health. Um, First, of, I want to mention, in line with health, the peace of God. Okay. Um, it says in the Bible, it says, Be anxious for nothing, but in all things, by prayer and supplication with thanksgiving, let your requests be made known unto God, and the peace of God, which surpasses all understanding, will keep your hearts and minds in Christ Jesus, or through Christ Jesus. Now let's talk about that for a moment. You see, the, I'm beginning to see now that a lot of our issues have to do with becoming upset and falling into thought usually negative thought. So we become upset, we fall into negative thought, and we try to figure out how we can fix what we messed up to save face. See, we have, this, we have an ego where we want to be right and never wrong, and so we want to look good, and we want to uh, make everything right so that we look good. Okay? But the problem is that when we start meddling, we mess everything up because there's, a dis there's been a disconnect between you and your Creator. It's quite clear in the Bible that um, there are terms like um, God's will, okay, praying in the name of Jesus, praying in the Spirit, okay. Now, what those have to do with is, is some kind of a connection, a connection between you and your Creator. And it also, it means by, through that connection, you know what to pray for, okay? And if you don't know what to pray for, then you, you pray for enlightenment so that you will know what to pray for, okay? And it even says that God knows what we need before we even ask. Jesus said that. Okay? So there's something very important about that connection. And there has been a disconnect between the human race and God, which occurred in the Garden of Eden. And it had to do with doing the serpent's will or Satan's will. Okay? You see how you see the connection there? You see how Christ said, Thy will be done? So if you are walking in God's will, then His will is your will. Or your will is to do His will. Okay? And when your will is to do His will, then you, you cease your efforts to do things on your own. Okay? You cease your striving. You see how that could bring about the peace of God, and you throw everything on the you throw the whole weight of your, all of the issues in your life, including your salvation, on God. Okay, it's like the expression to let go and let God. There's a magic in that. There's a magic in it. Okay, somehow letting go and letting God. Um, and why? 
wanting to do his will. See, you may not know what his will is. A lot of times we don't know what his will is, so we wait until we do know. And that's why not going the wrong way is going the right way. If you don't know what to do, then just wait until you do know. See, if you're concerned about something, some decision or something, then just leave it as a question. Don't worry about it. Don't fret about it. Don't, don't try to figure it out in your ego animal brain. Just wait okay, until you do know. Just have it as a question. Okay? Then either it solves itself or it's no longer an issue or somehow God will help it to be solved. You see? So a lot of times you don't have to do anything but watch. So all you have to do is watch. Okay? Observe. There's magic. Those of you who are not using my meditation, I don't know what your problem is. I really don't. I give it away. And I tell you, see, I come right out and say that this meditation, if you have the, if you have the right attitude, I mean, obviously, if, you, if, you're, if you're full of hate, see, or you, you don't like the truth, or something like that, then it's not going to work. Or if you're stubborn, prideful, so prideful you won't even admit you're wrong, then it's not going to work. But if you if you have somewhat of a decent <laughs> attitude about things, okay, and you're willing to know the truth and you're willing to admit if you mess up, you're willing to admit it, okay, you may not may not feel like having to admit it, but you will, okay, then try the meditation because it helps to reestablish that connection with God, okay, so it, it so it helps you to be a little closer to Him. Okay, so uh, you see how that, that is the beginning of it all right there? Being closer to God and then doing His, wanting to do His will and waiting until you know what His will is and not, you see, opposing, putting up. So now you see also that a lot of your issues have to do with striving, striving and struggling and trying. See, the world, the world has a will. Other people have a will. Your mother had a will. The devil has a will. They want you to do their will. Everybody wants you to do their will. See? Now, they may sugarcoat it and seduce you into doing their will, which they often do. But when they have the power, then they will also force compliance. So have you ever wondered why the whole world is in slavery? You look around the world, everywhere, people are, people live under these terrible dictatorships. Terrible dictatorships. You know, where the strongest one rules the roost, often the wrongest one. Okay. So, now you see that, uh, that doing God's will is a big thing. The whole world is doing, not doing his will. That's why there's war and, and violence and cruelty and all kinds of treachery and thievery and all the awful things that happen. Okay? People are not doing God's will. So if you want to get closer to God so you can do his will, but now I was so I was talking about the peace of God. Can you see how if you're if you are walking with God, if you found the connection, okay, okay, by meditating with my meditation, okay, then when you go out in the world, then you will begin to see. You will see what things tend to pull you away from that connection. You'll see how easily you get upset, how easily you get angry at other people and resentful, how easily you get pulled into things, into music, into TV, into a lot of things. You get pulled into them. Okay. You have to learn the art of standing back, closer to God, a little bit distant from those things that would pull you into them. Okay. So you're getting pulled in anymore. And the number one thing that we get pulled into is our thoughts, our imagination, which is a no man's land. See, the devil approaches you through your imagination and through thinking. In fact, a lot of the thoughts that are going on in your mind are not your thoughts at all. 
So something else is there spinning these thoughts, and you think they're your thoughts. So the day will come when you meditate that you will begin to see that those thoughts are not your thoughts, which is good because then you don't have to be guilty for them. You just watch them until they go away, you see. The peace of God, you see how that could be if you learn to let go and let God and stop your huffing and puffing. But see, you've been conditioned from the time you were a little child. People were always trying to get you to try and to struggle and to, to be challenged and see to try to exert your will. But they knew that when you exerted your will, you would get that way you would get enmeshed into doing their will. See, through the, see what happens, the harder you struggle, then eventually you get stuck. Okay, you get stuck in that struggling position and you need someone to, to take over. See, hypnotists uh, use that all the time. They challenge people to, uh, to do something and do it and do it and do it. And then finally, the hypnotist says, okay, some of you won't be able to unlock your hands or whatever they were getting the audience to do. And then they can find out who is hypnotized. And the ones that can't, see, unlock their hands, and the hypnotist brings them up to the stage because they're the, they're the easiest to hypnotize. So then he can use them for his stage act, okay? But that happens in life. Haven't you gotten locked into th something? Locked into some struggling? Locked into proving something to somebody? will of God. So you can know the peace of God. You must find the connection with God so you can do, and do God's will. Find out what his will is. Okay? Then you can know the peace of God. Now a lot of our health issues, like a lot of people have heart trouble. Why is, what is it, what's that all about? Well, I mean obviously, you know, we, also, we always have to look at what we're eating and drinking. And, uh, a lot of people are eating, drinking and eating all kinds of bad things that aren't good for them. But, but what's the main thing about the heart issue? Isn't it struggling and striving? Isn't it becoming angry? See, when you become angry, you, you've been seduced into being angry. You've been pulled into being pulled away from your center, pulled into an emotional response. So when you're angry, what happens? Your heart beats, it has to beat faster. When you're struggling, when you're frustrated, when you're tense, see? All of these things stress your heart, okay? And cancer, what is that? Well, once again, you know, there's a lot of things wrong with food, pesticides and all kinds of things. There's also an identity issue going on, see? where your, your body is not, is not, all of the cells are not lined up in a perfect harmonious relationship with your soul and your soul being subject to the creator. See, if you, if you weren't rebellious, prideful, egotistical, stubborn, resentful, see, willful, if you weren't any of those things, and your will was to do God's will, okay, and you found that connection, then your soul would be in perfect harmony with your Creator, and your soul would be obedient to the Creator, who you love. Then your mind, see, would also, what does it say in, in the Bible somewhere, it says to bring every thought captive to, to Christ. See, when you when your soul is in perfect obedience, then your mind will follow. Okay, then you'll have a new set of thoughts, a new set of emotions. See, and the madness, the horror of the un of your unconscious. See, the hell. Now you will be subject to God and not subject to the hell. Why do people have tormenting thoughts and awful thoughts and scary thoughts and and terrible thoughts they wouldn't even want to tell anybody about? See, vicious thoughts, revengeful, th all these things, see, it's because you become subject to the world and what, are, what is standing behind the world, see. If you're subject to God, then your mind will become stable. 
your emotions will become stable and your body then also will follow suit see and there's a hierarchy all the way down to the to the see there's a hierarchy of authority just like in a corporation you have the worker and then you have the assistant manager then you have the manager then you have the regional manager and the general manager and the assistant vice president and the vice president then you have the president you see what I mean well in the body there's a hierarchy from the individual cell to the to the or to the uh, tissue to the organ see um, to, to to the nerves and glands and hormones to the to the mind see the, the brain and then the soul and then it and then above the soul is Christ and then God you see so if you have this perfect hierarchy see then there will be no no rebellion it'd be like a it'd be very very nice and when things have, and in the past where you've stressed yourself see or been stressed and lived improperly and so forth now you be now you'll be able to recover from those be able to recuperate from them your body will have time to a lot of times the body can heal its repair itself see it's, it's a miracle you cut yourself and then your body heals it how does it do that you don't know but it's, it's a miracle it's amazing see you strain something and then it hurts for a while then it gets better see body is very often able to repair itself sometimes you need a little help from the good doctor okay um, and that and also there you'll see to, you'll be able to choose the right doctor because you'll have your you'll be centered and calm instead of all upset and, and reasonable and you'll have your intuition okay and then you'll be able to find the right doctor with the right treatment see Okay, so it all it all works out very beautifully. It's see, it's a big comp. All of these things, and especially look, everything that's gone gone wrong. It's like, you know, they say you can't unscramble an egg. Okay, well, there's a lot of things that have gone wrong in in your life, with your health, with every aspect of your life. It's a complex mess. But Christ said, you know, with man it would be impossible, but with God all things are possible. Okay, God can. He can, he can scramble, he can unscramble the egg. He can fix it all. So it's too complicated for you, see, to try to do this and that, and then you pay attention to this part, and then you ignore that part, and if you try it on your own, it doesn't work. You need, you need his help. You need to learn to let go and let God. And, and the meditation is so helpful with that. It really is, my meditation. Not any meditation. Okay, but the meditation that I have, because it, it has the specific purpose of helping you to get out of the negative thoughts, become centered, okay, have presence of mind, less calm, not, not so upset, and closer to God, okay? My name is Pastor Leonard.